We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I get to dive in and finally check out Cyberpunk 2077 from CD Projekt Red. It released originally on December 9th of 2020, and they just dropped patch 1.5, which kind of activated the current gen consoles. So PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X are now able to play Cyberpunk 2077 on stuff optimized for them. I happened to reach out, it was a long shot, and lo and behold, um, CD Projekt Red and their PR team at Evolve got back to me and sent a code my way. So a big, big thank you to those folks who made this possible. It's it's awesome. It's really, really cool. It's humbling. Now, uh, obviously, before we get into this, a lot of people already know this game. A lot of people have already seen stuff in this game, already played the game, what have you. In case you don't know, this is going to be rated M for Mature. It's going to be kind of kind of a little bit more adult themed. So be aware of that before you watch the series, guys and gals. I want to, of course, make sure I tend to keep everything as family friendly as I can on my end, and I will still continue to do so. But the games themselves, you know, I can't control that. So that being said, just, just keep that in your minds. If you want to, you know, proceed, fine. If you want to go off and watch something else, that's totally okay too. So I want to make sure you guys understand that there's a rating and it's going to be a little bit more than we're used to seeing on a lot of the titles out there. All right, well, my skills with a controller and FPS is not super good. I think we can at least go maybe normal. We'll, we'll see. The right choice for players who just want to sit back and enjoy the story. Combat will not pose a challenge. Enemies will have all the tools at their disposal to take V on, but primarily only enemies at a higher level will prove a challenge. Combat will be a substantial challenge. The effective use of perks, cyberware, combat gadgets, and consumables will be essential to survival. And very hard. Buckle up for a serious challenge. Careful character development and clever use of items, game mechanics, and the environment will be necessary to help V make it on the streets of Night City. I guess I'm going normal. I said, if I, if I was doing this on PC, I might give a heart a shot, and I might give a heart a shot later on, but for now, we're going normal. So I've, I've literally just installed the game. I've launched it for the first time. I've played around in the options themselves, and that's it. I have no idea what else I'm doing. I've avoided a very large amount of spoilers because I did always want to come back and at some point play Cyberpunk 2077. So I know almost nothing about what's going on. So I at least get to come into this fresh faced and not knowing what I'm doing. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. It looks like we've got three possible, I guess, like starting paths, select V's life path. Some events and dialogue options in the game will be different depending on your choice. So we have a nomad roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honestly, or sorry, honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. That doesn't sound that bad. An old street kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. And few leave the corporate world, with their lives anyway. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. I, I kind of like the Nomad. It just, it, it just, you know... It seems the least terrible of, of all the possible choices. I mean, Street Kid's not that bad. Eh, I suppose we'll go with uh, with 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 the mans. Uh, keep in mind that I do indeed plan to still err on the side of caution throughout the Let's Play. So, just be aware of that. We have some presets over here. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Do we all? Do all of us have to have that weird? No, we don't. What is this? Oh. Oh, that's that is a that is a thing. Oh my God! There's so many different choices. 
That dude cybered up like crazy. Can I just have like a, a basic nobody right now and just start from there? I mean, I, I guess you're relatively basic. All right. It's a voice tone. I'm V. I'm V. Okay. Skin tone, lighter, darker. Is that greenish gray? No, I guess it's not that bad. I look, look almost green. Uh, we're getting into like the neon bright and then the, the pretty dark there. I mean, I, I'm pretty pale myself. Skin type, sure. Hairstyle. <laughs> I want to see these. Ah, uh, how how to come? Oh, you rotate that way. Oh, oh, calm down. I'm not I'm not ready. I want to go back to the hair. All right. So fancy hair, fluffy hair. I you know I don't know. That's definitely not what I'm going for, but it's interesting. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. Wow. There, there's a, a large amount of hair choices. I, I don't want to spend a 500 million years doing this. I know a lot of people. Okay. That's it. I know a lot of people really enjoyed getting into the, all the different colors and, and the character creation. That's something a lot of people are like, yeah, and they're super excited about. And that's, that's fine. Um, I want to like a dark brown. That's, that's good. Then we're going to go into the eyes. How many different eyes could there be? Oh, what is that? It's just it's changing like the not the eye itself, it's like the shape around the eye. Yeah, that was that's about right. Very 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 tired eyes. Um How green are my eyes? Well, that's good enough. All right, what else we got? Some eyebrows. I mean, I don't really want all this metal in my face. I'm pretty fine with all this stuff. Even the beard's kind of close to on point. I mean, I'd prefer a little bit more uh, overall. How many beards do they have? Not a lot, huh? All right, well, that's that's a little disappointing. It's kind of hoping for a little bit more oomph from it, but it's it's all good. Cyberware, sure. Facial scars off. We're gonna we're gonna be kind of a baby face a little bit. I I, I don't want piercings. Never never been a, a big piercing fan to be honest. Oh, I, did I uh, changing everything. I'm so sorry. All right, teeth. Oh, yep, I have them. <laughs> it's real creepy yeah we're just gonna have normal teeth I, I don't I'm not big into eye makeup I guess either sure whatever uh, lip makeup oh you did, yes that that is me right there how is that the default oh you could have okay okay I see Glossy, a little matte color. Oh wait, wait, do we do we have lip makeup color? Oh heck yeah, we do. All right, yeah, we're we're totally going lipstick. That's that's definitely a thing that I wear all the time. We're gonna go with that that green. Mm-hmm. Definitely doesn't match our eyes, but it could. Uh, no. Blemishes? I have no blemishes. All right, I'm gonna have some blemishes. I'm fine with that. Blemish color, whatever. Nails. Uh, okay, careful here. Uh huh, uh huh. Body tattoos, body scar. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay with that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, totally fine with that. That's that's okay. Okay, didn't have to get into any of the uh, things I was more concerned with. I know a lot of people super excited for it. It's like their favorite thing in the whole universe. I, I'm i good. Okay, so we have seven points available. We're threes down the board, and we can kind of change our character and how body determines your physical power in addition to, well, 
I think that's fine. Uh, allowing you to force open doors. Okay, I'm fine. Wait, why, why are my points going... Oh, we had seven. I went down. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm losing my mind. It's okay. Ah, that's fine. Reflexes. Maneuverability in addition to overall movement speed. Big into that. Technical ability. Uh, my coolness. All right, let's be fair. I, I'm not. I'm not super cool, and I'm okay with that. I, I've I've leaned into. I don't have to be cool, and I'm fine with that. So yeah, I'm good with this. This is fine. This is fine. Bio monitor panel. Alias V. Normal difficulty. Nomad body six. Reflex of six. Int three. Cool three. And technical ability four. Let's do it. So, uh, just uh, as a tale for all of you out there, uh, I was persistent. And I shot my shot even though I didn't expect much back. And it took three attempts, but here we are. So, like I said... It's a really cool thing. It means a lot. I mean, maybe I was the last choice they had that was even requesting it for the codes they had. I don't know. But either way, Evolve has been taking care of me for quite a while as well. So a big shout out and thank you to them. Most things that I request do come my way. And I try my best to cover to the best of my ability. So get out there, get to work, get grinding, do your best, and do what you say you're going to do. And sometimes, folks... Some amazing things can happen, so I'm here for it. All right, so what's going on? Remove patch. What does what, is, what, what does that mean? What? Okay. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. All right, welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in Night City, pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you are already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. Guess I was wrong. Ooh. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. Interesting. Sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to get used to how the feel how everything works. What's up, man? Check the engine. Step aside. I'll handle it. I'm going to pay you what we agreed. Move out my way, man. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking. Hot wire. I'll bypass the coupling. You're wearing I'm gonna on bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. I feel like that wouldn't work that way. Did anyone ask your? Well, I'm sure it's gonna say. Did it. anyone ask your opinion? All right, get into the car. I can do that. Okay, let's see what happens. That's interesting. All right. Like I was telling you. No. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Fair. Hi. Uh huh. Uh, I'm looking for Jackie Wellies or Wells. Uh, doable? Doable. So doable? It sure was. Satisficing that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. All right, well. I'm looking for someone. Jackie Wells. Have you maybe... Nope. All right, connect to radio station. Mm -hmm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't Who's say. That? Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I I, I thought uh, he'd at least called in. Don't you. you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Oh, are we? 
He just spat in Don't my presence. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. Just passing through. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Nope. Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. Nope. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? Nope. I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do you? Just want to get along and you're in my way, man. Get out of the way. That a nomad vehicle? Really? Might have expected that. I'll just fix it and be on my way. I'll just fix it and go. I've no reason to linger. <sighs> no, you sure shit don't. Mm -hmm. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Excuse me? Where'd your clan pitch camp? I'm here alone. There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. I'll take it. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I'll need to use your radio tower. You're a real hospitable bunch. I sold broadcast and comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Is that a weapon? Got it. Closed door, I don't want any trouble. Closed door, you sound like, uh, you like the sound of your voice, don't you? <laughs> you like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Best that way. Oh, oh! I forgot that the uh, the PlayStation Five has that. I, I don't remember what it's called now. The the fancy uh, control thing. All right. I'm going the wrong direction. So you get the uh, the force feedback on your uh, R2 button. It's really cool. It feels great. All right, I think I'm going the wrong way though. So we should probably turn around. All right. This looks really good, by the way. It's really solid. That comms towers over there. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking around and stuff. I'm just really really enjoying what I'm seeing. Instead of going where I'm supposed to be going, really. It's weird feeling the the squishy button. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just so weird feeling. Ah, oh, it's ah, oh, it's so cool. All right, let's get out of the vehicle. All right. So, oh, we're, we went here anyway, despite him. Uh, okay. I mean, I I knew that, but. I, I really got to go all the way up to the top of the comm tower. Really, this doesn't seem safe. Uh, how does one sprint? Do we sprint? Can we sprint? Alright, so we're going up this latre. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What was that? Get up there, what are you doing? Oh, sprint, ah, oh, it's L3 sprint. Ah, I hate that. Alright. Photo mode with L3 and R3, okay. Wow, just, okay. Hello? Come in, come in. Ah, raised you finally. What's up, McCoy? Willie McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Fee, wish I could say the same. What? Well, then why don't you? <laughs> why can't you? You abandoned the clan. Oh. I can't help you anymore. I never knew you to be so cautious. Try and loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without them. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. 
wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. You should have stuck with them, and joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. Well, I need your help. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? Yeah, well, my car broke down, man. My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. Hmm? He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolog data. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. Thank you. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. Thanks, Willie. All right, time to get out of here. Oh, almost fell off. Probably would have broken something had I fallen. This thing is real rickety. Look, I mean, look at the floor. Oh. Well, at least you don't have to hold it to run. It's just a toggle. All right, let's get in. Yeah, baby. All right, let's get to it. Feels good driving. The, the driving is actually quite quite impressive. Do I have any weapons? Maybe now's not the time to play around with it. I, I kind of want to go see if I can't pew pew and shoot a few folks. See if we can't take some people out, you know. That guy was kind of rude to me, the, the cop, the, the sheriff, as it were. I feel like maybe I could teach him a lesson or two. Ooh, oh! I, I did hit the brake. It did not work, by the way. I mean, it did, but not, not in time. How slow, or how long it takes to stop. Do we have, like, an e-brake? Is that a thing? Yes. The X button's the e-brake. So if I was going full speed and I hit both brakes... Oh, oh, I gotta try it. I, you know, I just wanna, I just wanna get used to the driving. That's still really bad. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I can't drive through the cacti. All right. Keep out. Well, all right. Let's get out. It feels so cool with the ah. Oh, I really, I really like the PlayStation 5's like squishy uh, trigger buttons. So good. R2 and L2. Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Jackie? Yeah. Sure hope you're here for me. Nice gun. Ah, uh, that's right. Are you Wells and Jackie? Por favor. I'm V. So. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Sure, sure. You're a man of principle? You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Hmm. That's fair. Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. 
Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. Fair. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. Sure. The cargo. Oh. Uh, well, let's load it up. Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. You got it. All right. So, so do I help you or? Oh, you just, nope. Oh, okay. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up, and you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know. On the ground. The, the sheriff he looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. It's an ashtray. Oh, what are we doing, buddy? Open. Oh, open the trunk. All right, here you go. It's a hatchback. It's not really a trunk. What a fat ass. Thank you. All right, we're gonna get in the car. So, we headed out? Apparently. Where are we going? We're going right? All right. Can we shift it? Ah, it's, you have the it's manifest sorry. from the transport. Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Oh boy. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? Well... Hey. You, uh, sure you've moved contraband before? Why, are you nervous? Me? Ha! <laughs> ah, por favor. Well, uh, maybe a little. Sure. Uh, I'm a little nervous too, man. Hey, I definitely we're crossing up ahead. What now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. Oh, it slows us down on that. Hey guys, what's going on? Do we, do we pull forward or? I guess we wait. Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. Oh, so weird. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You do? Why? Hand me the manifest. Hand me the manifest. Don't need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as across the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. They're about to find out. Yeah. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? Um, this is how it works. Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? Nope, no idea. If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Nice. Right. You forgot. <laughs> hey, he don't believe me either. I'll keep the engine running in case of a cock up. Do that. Yeah, you you do exactly that. See, look at our look at our sexy little beast of a car, huh? Yeah. Anyway, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna break it off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we will dive in deeper into whatever our customs thing is here that we have to cross the border in our shady ways of being Proceed shady to and customs whatnot. Without undue delay. And we're gonna give them some undue delay. So, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping in and checking out Cyberpunk 2077 with me. And a big shout out and a thank you to uh, CD Projekt Red and Evolve uh, for hooking me up with the code for Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, the PS5 version of it. It's it's really, really cool to feel it on the PS5 controller, I guess to say. So if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that stuff down below in the description of the video will be various links. Proceed to customs without undue delay. See, see, I, I knew this, this was coming. <laughs>
Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, all that stuff. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.